Kill number 24. We're headed in to unload it. Let's do it. <laughs> hey. What's up guys? All right, we're headed in to unload this full kiln. And I just wanted to talk quick about the Patreon account. So I started a Patreon account and I really didn't do anything for a while. And so I had a couple patrons, Robert and Michelle. And so I apologize that I didn't do like anything, but I've decided that I'm doing stuff on Patreon now. So thanks to my two newest patrons, Karen Juice and Steve Crandell, Appreciate you guys. Big shout out to you. So we're gonna be doing monthly drawings for pieces of my pottery. So I'll pick a piece of pottery and then I'll give it away to one to my patrons. And so depending on like the tiers and stuff, uh, depends on how many like times you get in the monthly drawing. And I'm just gonna be doing way more stuff on Patreon, like insider John the Potter access. So head over to the Patreon account. The link is linked below. It's just patreon.com slash John the Potter. Mm. We'll put my seatbelt on. I'm excited for that. So I hope some of you guys can join me over on Patreon. I just want it, I kinda want it to just be a community of like people that care about pottery and that want the things that they use on a daily basis to be more interesting and fun than just like the stuff that you would buy at like a department store or something. So if that sounds interesting to you and you want all the insider access to John the Potter, head over to that Patreon account. All right, see you in the studio. Welcome to the studio. How long does that take to focus on my face? Does that go pretty quick? All right, let's open this kiln. Ready? All right, some glass coasters. Those turned out pretty nice. Sweet. All right, let's do it. Oh, just got some new business cards printed. Pretty excited about that. About the YouTube channel, all my info on the back. And then I got some pricing labels printed. Can you focus on that, please? Camera, please focus. Camera, 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 focus. So I got these pricing labels printed so that on the one side it says, you know, John the Potter YouTube channel, and then I hit the price, and then on the back it has kiln opening number whatever. So then I can, that way I can write down which kiln it comes out of, so then if you buy a pot you can go check it out on the YouTube channel. How's that for an idea? All right, let's do this thing. This weekend, Nickel Dickel Day in Waconia. It's our busiest day of the year. So, I gotta unload this, load it again, and start prepping for that. And then, it's just a whirlwind now for the next two weekends. So this, we got some sweet green, sea green bowls. This turned out really nice. It's just a good, basic, like, cereal bowl, ice cream bowl. Just a good, all-around, multi-purpose bowl. This is a little plate for a berry bowl. Got a couple more of those glass coasters. And if you have been trying to make these, I really think I figured out the secret. Don't put up too much glass in there, A. And the second thing is make sure that the edges are really gradual so that they don't come straight up. It's when there's too much glass and when the sides, like, if you think about the sides, like holding the glass in, the shrinkage rates are different so the glass will just crack the sides, but we'll see. We'll see if all of them turned out today. Because a... All came out, none of them broke. Boom. 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 So those turned out well. All right, so the first thing I'll show you is this other bowl, right? Another one of these bowls. That actually is slightly different. So sometimes when things are like this, you know, you can see how this can you see the difference between this and this? So this one looks like it just kind of dropped, the, the glaze just kind of fell off the top. And a lot of times that's because if I put a third glaze or a second glaze on top of a glaze that is a little wet, then it'll do that. Which you want to generally shy away from that just because it can kind of ruin the glaze. But in this case, it actually turned out really cool. Okay, so this thing that I just pulled out, I, I'm always trying to think of ways to use that glass coaster thing, right? Because you can't put it on the inside of things because it's not food safe, but it's still such a cool thing. So this, 
I threw, it's gonna be like a pot or a planter or something. So I threw it like this and then made a little, the top part is just like this and then I put glass all around the edge so that you can see the recycled glass all the way around. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think it's super cool actually. So I'd use it as like a flower pot or some decorative thing. There, you can kind of see it right there, how cool that is. Comment below if you have any other ideas for that glass, that uh, recycled broken glass stuff. Let's keep going, we don't have all day here. We have six custom Minnesota mugs that say Huga. Huga? Huga. Huga. Comment below if you've ever heard of this. It's like a Danish, you know what, I'm just gonna put in definition. Huga. Huga, huga. Let's look it up and see what it says. H Y G G E. But these are for my parents. This is a, a group that they are in. Huga definition: a calm, comfortable time with people you love, a complete absence of frustrations or anything emotionally overwhelming. Often enjoyed with good food and drinks, with blankets and candlelight. Sounds like a good Minnesota winter night. So we got six of those, and they're in that Northern Lights glaze. We also have some Minnesota mugs with trees, and that's also in that same Northern Lights glaze. This kiln opening is gonna be like 15 minutes long if I don't speed this process up a little bit. Boom, boom. All right, six more of these bowls. So, glazing tip, inside of bowls, layer that glaze on. Outside of bowls, keep it fairly minimal. I gotta do another glazing video soon. That first glazing video I did, by far the most views I have. Ooh, here's a berry bowl. It's one of those berry bowls. That worked out perfectly. All the holes are clear. Got the big handles. Cool, this will be a good seller this weekend, or next weekend, so it goes right on that plate. Cool, that's worked out well. This other berry bowl has a few holes. So there's just a couple holes that are filled, but most of them are open, so that'll work well too. Still wondering about if you can take a, a drill bit and just <laughs> This is cool. This is kind of like a Canyon Skies type. It's kind of got some of my finger marks in there where the drips went, which is pretty cool. I like that bowl a lot. So this is kiln opening number 24? Man, I'm starting to lose count. Last shelf, we got some Minnesota mugs in that Canyon Skies. Those look phenomenal. Phenomenal, there's another word. Dope. Those all turned out really, really nice. Last things in here, some pine tree mugs. And I'm kind of following my, uh, my mom's advice to make smaller so these are probably like 10 to 12 ounces, which I actually like smaller mugs too. I would rather drink fresh coffee four times out of a smaller mug than like have a giant mug that the coffee gets cold. So these turned out awesome. I love these pine tree mugs. With this drips too, oh, right over the trees. Perfect. Those are pretty sweet, awesome, love them. Here's pine trees just on one side, and then the other side is like blank. Comment below, tell me what you think of the, the bare clay. Some people like it, and some people don't. I personally really like it, especially when you get those drips. But it is kind of a risk, you know? You never quite know. There's another pine tree. Oh, I don't like that I left the little black glaze. I could probably sand that off. That's nice. And then, there we go. Beautiful! All right, we did it. We did it. Now I'll show you what we got going on over here. We got all this stuff we're gonna put in the glaze. Glass coasters, Minnesota mugs, other mugs, bowl, bowl. And then we got all this bis. You remember that kiln schedule that I had? I'll put it right here. This glaze will go in today on Friday. Bisque will go in Sunday. And then I'll do two more glazes with all that stuff and basically all the other random stuff. And then, I'm just gonna clear everything out of the studio and clean it like crazy. So hey, where'd that light go? Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Comment below, tell me what you think of this video. What was your favorite piece out of this kiln? Check out the Patreon account for the drawings 
and oh, there's a chance you can get a custom mug made just for you. So yeah, check out the Patreon account, become a patron. We'll see you in the next video. We just watched the first Vikings game. How do we feel about the Vikings season? Tom, how do you feel? I'd say pretty hopeful. Hopeful. Vikings are, Vikings, yeah. Vikings are gonna win the Super Bowl. I'm making a prediction yeah. right now. <laughs> Vikings are winning the Super Bowl. I'm, I'm not quite as hopeful. Go Vikes. Tom? Skull Vikings. Skull Vikings. Do you have a purple blaze? Uh, yes, I do actually.